my fellow Americans, war has never been peace or war has always been death, bloodshed, and everything you can think about. The fact that the war that's going on between and the other side. But I tell you this right now, I don't see this as World War Three. I see this as a war that either the U.S. has caused or whoever started it or whatever, whatever was planned. But my point is, if this war spreads all the way here to America, many lives, including your family, your kids, everything that you love, gone. Now, I don't know whose idea was it or who started it, but that just shows you how many people out there in the world would hate and think war is the only solution. Violence never solves anything at all. Violence is just a waste and taking the easy way just to get rid of somebody very, very quick. Now, throughout history, there's been many wars, the Civil War, World War Two, World War One, and those who have lived in the wars and are still alive today, of course, they will support the Americans for all this war that's going on. But I will tell you this, we all know the government and you can hardly trust anybody around. But one thing for sure, America does hide stuff when we don't know. America, um, a United States the U.S. actually put it like that. The U.S. has always been stand for freedom of speech. I'm not sure what it was supposed to stand for, but everything you could think of what it means. But haven't you ever thought that sometimes all that could be a lie? Sure, we got a freedom. But there's just some things that's never free. We got our independence. But sometimes I believe America can be a lie as well. Same thing as other places as well, not just here. Now, if the war does spread through the U.S., you can only imagine destroyed buildings corpse of those who have died, even the innocent. Imagine that in your head right now. Look outside. I want you to visualize a building across the street damaged. Picture smeared blood from the bullet shot. And picture the screams the torture that everybody's going to go through if the war does come over here. I hope everybody around the world is hearing me saying this. World War Three is going to be our destruction if this keeps up. I believe myself that when it comes to defending ourselves, yes, we have the right to defend ourselves that's if if somebody starts it with us. Now everyone knows there's only two sides of every story. And one of those sides could be a lie or the truth. Really depends because somebody can change it. But who knows what's going to happen. But if we do wind up gone from here, then I can tell you this right now. The world ain't going to be the same ever again. 
and you can damn for sure I can tell you this. If we end up in war, I'm only going to help those who are in need. But when it comes to the people who are the enemy and who are the hating, I'm leaving you for dead, straight out. But for those who are innocent that deserve to be rescued, I will help. But I'm not going to help those who have been full of bullshit. So right now, my prayers and everything goes out to the world that we don't go to this war. Because honestly, we don't need any more. We already got all this rape, murder, crime, you name it. We got all that as it is. I think America prefers to deal with that than something going loose and seeing tanks run the streets and jets flying up in the sky. But I really do want you guys to picture that in your mind. Look across the street, all right? Like I said, look across the street. Use your imagination on how would it look if the war was actually... I don't want you to picture yourself in a suit. I don't want, to picture, I don't want you to picture yourself saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to do good taking this person now and this. I want you to see how many people and how many screams are going to be out there, how many people are going to suffer. I want you to think that shit. All of you around the world, I want you to think that shit. For those who have experienced the wars on the World War One and Two, you know what it's like to see death all around. And me, for starters, I am walking the road of death. I've seen a lot of stuff that ever happened, normal stuff. And sometimes it's not the kind of things you do not want to see. So does it look like I don't know what war will actually look like? I know exactly what war is going to look like. But I want you all to see this. This is no video game that you play, no dust, no modern warfare crap. This is the real shit. And we all know some of you pansies out there think, I can survive this shit. I bet you anything, some of you will run and hide while some are right there dying to try and keep people and protect them alive. But I want you guys to really picture this shit in really your head really good to really understand what I'm trying to tell you. I want you to really see it. I want you to really feel it. But I just want to let you guys know, if anything does go wrong, I'd like to tell you this, there ain't going to be much people who are going to be helping. But I know I will be thinking all about me and those who I care about only. But anyways, I just wanted to put this video out about what's been going on and the decision that's been uh, made, that's fine if the United States has the strongest weaponry. That's fine. And I really don't know who, who started it and who, whatever and shit, but I can tell you that if anything goes wrong, forget it. I ain't running. I was born for this shit. All right? I'm pretty much all about risking my own life. So I would risk my own life for my own family. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not looking forward to have a messed up future because I prefer to see something better for this world. Especially for our kids, man. Yeah. But anyways, people... This is my thoughts right now about this war thing that's going on and what would happen if it was actually spread around here in the United States, including to Las Vegas and all this shit. wanted to put this out, but I really do hope you guys really think about what you really write in those comments in the videos you see. Talking about, oh, that's cool, hell yeah. It's about time. No, no. But I really want you to picture all that in your head. I want you to really imagine your own family in, in, in pain. Like what would happen if somebody had shot a bullet right through the window and hit one of your parents like your mom or, or your dad or one of your kids. And that war happened. What you gonna do, huh? 
and you ain't got nothing in your house to really protect or defend yourself. But this is my point. Nobody does not want to see this or lose anybody who's close. I surely don't. But anyways, take care, everybody. And I know this video is long, but hey, doesn't matter. Take care, people. Later.